What's going on, y'all? I want to holler at y'all about what's been going on this week, all the new packages that have been arriving on my doorstep. But I also want to say thank you for everybody who commented on the X-Men. I cannot wait till Wednesday to see episode three. With that being said, let's get into the first big thing. I opened this damn uh, vamp up. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a review, but I wasn't blessed with this either, you know. Like I I I didn't talk shit, I just pre-ordered it, and you know, I'm glad I did so I didn't miss out because I don't think I'd be blessed with people to just have crush on have crushes on me and just send me expensive ass toys. I mean, like I'm not that pretty. Like I wish I were, but I'm gonna do like the most of the world and actually get this shit. The reason why I will never really knock some shit. And then have to eat my words. If I gotta eat my words, I'll eat my fucking words. Period. Like, um, I saw no problem with the price of this. And as a matter of fact, if you got this in hand, I'm just gonna say reviews do not do this justice. Like, I am loving building this six-inch scale G.I. Joe figures. Like, I'm fucking loving it. And I had to put her ass in there because that is my least favorite G.I. Joe toy. Dude, but look at just reviews, like the details on this worth every penny. Um because when we say this was not worth, okay, $75, because Clutch would have been $25, right? So when we say this isn't worth that, that means we're overpaying for everything. I mean, to me, it makes sense in the grand scheme of, grand scheme of things, because it's honestly like, they're not going to change their mind. They're not going nowhere. So literally, we can, I'm not trying, like, when it's shit that's not worth it, I'll tell you, I think, I honestly believe that this was worth it. This was worth every penny. Um, can I get to wait to get the Cobra Sting? Like, uh, but anyway, nobody said that this wasn't worth $133. You know what I'm saying? And this is well known. I don't even identify this as the Mandalorian ship. I don't give a fuck. To this day, it's Razor Crest. I'm sorry. When I see this, I picture any I picture actually uh Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, I do not picture Grogu, but it is a fine piece of collectors and that's the thing to me about both of these so the mcfarland batmobile it literally was just a black plastic shell the fucking canopy wasn't even colored correctly and we all agreed if i'm not mistaken it was like 60 bucks uh give or take something around that round but that was just a big big ass miscolored black piece of plastic but it was the fucking batmobile you feel me um however that ghostbusters ecto-1 that was like 40 when it came out but it couldn't fit any ghostbusters that was collectible grade though. To me, this is collector's grade. Like, this is, to be honest, this is, these lighting, if these lit up and they added just maybe a smidge more detail, I mean, my new, this is a HasLab. Like, as far as the detail, in my opinion, like I was watching Snow Knock, I fucking love uh, watching um, Shardimus Prime. He had this, right? And he was shaking. He was like saying like, because like, when we finally get them in there like that, they stay put. And I can, I had to look at the box like, how the fuck do you put this in there? And he was shaking and saying they kept coming loose, but they wasn't. Then he had to literally, they just keep shaking. And look, it didn't even really do it the first time. So I commented on there. Funny how he shook the hell out of it. Made me think of Grandpa Simpson on Simpsons. <laughs> when he walked into the toy aisle, this motherfucker opened up some toys and started stepping on them and they wouldn't break. He was like, they break as soon as you just take them out of the package. Like, I just try to keep it real across the board. Now, that is not a knock. That's just me. That was just, like, funny because he was, I know he did, like, B-roll. I mean, I know he did, like, the, you know, when you record over the action. But he was, like, shaking the hell out. It didn't go nowhere. He literally, like, dumped it. So, this was definitely, like, fucking worth it, man. $100. And Clutch is an actual carry. It's not like they just gave you grunt or some shit like that. Um, If you missed out on that or you think it's overpriced, I'm... I'm I'm just gonna say you don't know what you're missing. There are other YouTubers who say they don't like none of this shit, the his tank, none of that, but somehow they got the shit. I'm just saying, like, if I don't like it, it ain't coming in my fucking house, period. Even if I don't like, now the price is different, but I I still firmly believe that the his tank was worth every penny. Um, it's not a matter of what, I'm not gonna be the dead horse, like where the characters, where the figures that came with it. I like people with principles. I have gone against one of my principles, and I'm about to tell you about that in a second, but I fucking love the vamp. I am glad I backed the fucking, um, the dragonfly. Woo, I can't wait. Now, let me put this aside. So, speaking of shit that's not overpriced, that's overpriced, I'm about to tell you, y'all about to be mad at me. Not even gonna make excuses. 
the feeling of FOMO was real as fuck with that Donatello lab. Ah, shit. I had to, I had to pre-order the Donatello lab. I'm sorry, like, and I feel so dirty. You ever watch the X Men's uh, X Men Two X Men United when like Rogue, like she, you know, I hate it when like mutants are like, "There's no traitors among us." Well, that's easy for you to say, especially Storm, bitch. You fine as hell, and you a Omega level mutant that can control the fucking weather. You, you peachy king, Rogue. She can't touch another human soul. Like no, so I get it. So that's how I felt putting in my bid. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. Like I'm not gonna lie to you, like. But I do not think it's worth it. If you are a casual collector, I mean, I'm gonna keep this shit raw. You've seen my turtle collection, dude. I, the FOMO was kind of like, the, the living room looks cool. And I'm like, okay, it's just a couch. And I got the TV, so really, that wasn't worth it. I'm not saying this one is worth it, but I am gonna get, I I did it to where I paid the four installments. Um. Um, to be honest with you, the way I logically like made it in my mind, to be honest with you, was like, okay, this credit card I just got, you hit a bonus and it gives you X back, you know? So I'm like, fuck it, doing my normal spins, sort of getting it. Um, and like a lot of motorcycle gear that I've gotten, look at me trying to rationalize my... <laughs> Yo, I had to get it, I had to get it. I don't condone it. I am not, I don't like to lie to y'all. I will probably not do a review because I do not want to push you know, getting that. To be honest, I hope Matt Hatter gets him one because he's also a, like somebody that I follow that if it's Ninja Turtle related, I fucking love hearing what he has to say because I can, he loves Ninja Turtles. I can fucking tell. We all do, but this guy loves it. You know what I mean? When I think Marvel Legends, I used to think displaying model behavior, but he's like me when it came to DC. He's kind of like, eh, I'm gonna tailor off of a little bit, you know? So I really don't have a go-to for when it comes to Marvel Legends. But I hope if you watch it, Matt Hatter, um, I'm pre-ordering my shit in two days. We only got six days left of today. I'm gonna get my fucking flipboard. Get yourself a turtle, dude. If I could afford it, I'd get you one because I know you fucking love it. I'm sorry, NECA's fucking us over. So that is that. I'm still gonna get from my uh, NECA um, other turtles. I'm definitely getting that ramen um, muck, musk. So I finally got my hands on the little baby turtles, man. I finally get to say it, motherfucker. It's my turn, damn it. Pizza. Pizza. Ah, radical, radical. I'm surprised they wouldn't say, hey, I'm walking here. But anyway, so I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but I was able to get those. I love it. I'm going to put them in my living room with my Maguire and my Gremlins. It's funny that these were like 20. This is not the ultimate, but this was 20. But these were four in a pack for 50. When I would arguably say, but I mean, they're not individual. This is the fucking Maguire. But anyway, see, sometimes it don't make sense. This showed up. I'm mad they didn't put this on the shelves. Yo, like, I was watching a movie and, like, playing with this. Pause. This shit was fun. Like, yo. And we give figures like this. Like, that Duncan, that man of arms. It ain't like this is some new revolutionary. Yes, they re... I told people, when people get mad about reusing molds, I'm like, nigga, that's all Masters of the Universe and Turtles did is reuse the same... The same fucking buck as I'm sure. They just changed the minor details and... This spout in this head is my favorite part. You take that off. This is just another generic ass. And I don't mind ordering from Mattel. You know what? Fuck the stores. I'm not going to lie. Fuck going to the store, wasting gas, being disappointed, scalpers. I would rather they put all that um, shit on their site and change the shipping, you know, because they pigeonhole it to where it's like they come out with one thing and you got to pay that damn shipping for each one item. Then some people try to rationalize buying three and I'm like, nah, fuck that. I'll just eat that $6 shipping. Like with that damn... Um, Vicor, whatever the fuck, Vi Vicron. I just bought like two other He-Men that were like $6 on sale and I just put the arm on that motherfucker. Actually, the other fake or, and I was like, yo, this works for me. But I, yeah, I really like this figure. I'm, yeah, every time I'm like, damn, I might have to go to the, um, the, the retro or whatever. I'm like, nah, this, this, like Will Smith said, this home, baby. Other than the Turtles of Grayskull, that's home. Then finally, the Spider-Man I've always wanted. Like, low-key, Dave, I get you. Like, ever since I saw Maximum Carnage comic, I wanted this. I wanted him, Spider-Man, and Venom next to each other, and I'm going to finally get to do it. I am missing one of the uh, other symbiotes, and that is uh, Scream. And when I get her, I'll finally be able to put, like, my um, shit up there. So, anyway, not going to make this video too long. That is basically that. 
I've just been really enjoying, like I'm still getting my toys and loving it, but my big toy is where I'm really having fun, modifying my bike. Uh, that shit is fucking fun. So um, I'll put a picture right here. I told somebody, or, you know, I'll put it somewhere right here to where like, I'm like, yo, tell me what this helmet reminds you of and why is it Cobra Commander and or a fucking back trooper. But anyway, hope y'all having a good week. If you have not um, went out there and got yourself a flip war, go get you a flip war, even as a novelty character. You know, that's why I really, to be honest, like, that's kind of like a creative character. Like, if I'm playing a game and you know you get bored, you're playing the fighting games, so you just pick, you know, ridiculous, like Mokujin or some shit. This is my Mokujin. This is, like, ridiculous. Like, I don't even want to take him out the package. I'm like, this fucking guy. I cannot wait to get my flip war. Uh, you guys should go out there and get your flip horse too. Like, um, it's already back. So just get your flip horse. Like, um, you know, I'm, I'm down here, you know, this is how he talks. He's always promoting it. I'm pretty sure you know it by now. Go get your fucking flip horse. But anyway, ooh, yeah.